Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Mellow Mama and today I'm going to be sharing my favorites for the month of June. And this is Dawn. The first product I want to go over is this Matcha Mud Mask from the Matcha Reserve. It is so awesome, you guys. I love masks. I particularly really like the sheet masks that you get from like Target or Ulta or Sephora. But this one is incredible. There are just so many trace minerals, antioxidants, and vitamins in matcha. And this is an organic matcha from Japan. And I just notice a visible difference right away after I've used this mask. You can call me crazy if you want. I know I'm 25 years old, but I do have a fear of fine lines and wrinkles. So this one kind of gives me a little bit of reassurance because I do notice a big difference between my eyebrows, that little space that gets kind of wrinkly because I apparently look concerned a lot of the time, and because I literally smile all day long, my smile slash laugh lines do look minimized, I'm not joking or exaggerating, um, after I use this mask. And plus it's just really nice to use real products that come from the earth on my skin. I just trust them a lot more than something chemical based. My next favorite for June is this brown sugar lip scrub from Eco Lips. I just, I have a problem for some reason with having chapped lips and dry skin. So I always like to keep everything nice and moisturized and this does that for me in a matter of seconds. Plus it just smells and tastes really good and it's 60% fair trade ingredients and in general all natural, gluten free, cruelty free ingredients. And that's always nice to know when you're putting something literally on your lips that you're probably going to lick off inevitably. Now of course you can make a similar lip scrub at home or a face scrub, but I just love that you can pick this up at pretty much any drugstore and you're ready to go. I really like to rock a basic black cat eye and I have always struggled to find a perfect eyeliner that has a lot of control until now. I really like this one from Tarte, it's called Sex Kitten and I just never have a problem now getting both sides to match or having to correct anything. It's not an all natural product but I really love it. My next favorite was a gift from my friend Natalia and I will never use another mascara. This one is from Youngblood Mineral Cosmetics and as somebody that has blonde eyelashes, mascara is sort of an essential for me so I hated having to use something every day that had a bunch of toxic ingredients inside which this one doesn't and it's also PETA certified cruelty free which makes me super happy. Now moving away from beauty stuff, this is the app that I've really been loving this month. It's called Minimalist, and it's just a great way to organize your day. I always start my morning by doing this, and I just love that it has a literal timer. It will tell you to put your phone down if you pick it up while you're in the middle of a task, and you can just sort of, you know, start one, add the duration of time that you're going to give yourself to finish the task, and then swipe them away to delete them or swipe down to add a new task. It's just such a great way to stay focused and productive. As far as style goes, I sort of stick to a very neutral color palette and focus on texture. So to add some color to my wardrobe for summer, I went with these sandals and I've really been loving them. My only complaint with these is that they tend to sort of break a little bit as far as the embellishments go, but I've hot glued them and they're perfectly fine. For the price and the compliments, I think they're worth it. Next up are these jeans from Zara. Jeans are definitely a staple for me, especially because I'm a mom and I need to have something that's stylish but still relaxed and comfortable for basically chasing him around and playing with him all day. Because I have a smaller frame, I typically prefer to wear jeans that are tighter as opposed to this relaxed fit, but I really, really love this particular pair. And I just like that they're distressed but not too informal and that the waist fits really, really nice and true to size. In general, I just think they're super duper cute and I get lots of compliments on them and I just generally love wearing them, so I recommend them. I rarely wear or purchase jewelry and for that reason, I keep it very inexpensive when I do. This necklace in particular really caught my eye just because it says kindness and I think that's so sweet, but I love dainty gold jewelry, so this was perfect. 
I personally think every mama needs a library book bag. Actually, even if you're not a mom and you go to the library or you need some motivation to hit up the library, grab one of these canvas totes from Forever 21. This was $3.90 with some tax on top and I use it all the time. Even if we're not going to the library or going from the library, we take it to the park with us anytime we want to read our books. Donovan and I are both naturally fair people that are prone to getting sunburned. Luckily though, Donovan has not experienced that yet because I have been lathering him with this particular sunscreen from the time that he was outside, which we were in California, now we're in a hot Ohio summer, so that's all the time. But this one's great because it's vegan, it's an all natural product, so I don't have to worry about exactly what's going on his skin, or as you can see, he loves to put things in his mouth. So this one, Baby Bum, I really like it. Plus, it's super accessible. You don't have to go online and buy it. You can just hop over to a Target and it's right there on the shelf. Our favorite book this month has been We Found the Hat by John Classen. I love reading everything to Donovan, from Shakespeare to history to, of course, children's books like this one. And John Classen books have quickly become some of our all-time favorites, in particular this one. It is super funny and quirky and unique. I love the color choices, as usual with John Classen. I love the way that the books are illustrated, and I love that they give so much life to the animal characters in the book. But in general, kids books can sort of be hit or miss, and this one really made us laugh, and I really recommend it. Because I share so many books in my other videos, I wanted to kind of change it up for this particular video and share a podcast that I love. There are several that I really enjoy listening to, but because this is my first favorites, I have to go with the Queen Janet Lansbury and her podcast, Unruffled. It's so great. If you haven't already given it a listen, you must. She's just got the coolest, wisest voice and perspective on things and so much experience that I truly love listening to what she has to say every episode. So go ahead and give that a listen. The next item on my list will be a favorite for a long, long time to come. It's something that I saw on Etsy and thought would be so great to have for Donovan because he loves to be in the action to see what I'm doing if I'm cooking or cutting vegetables or fruit and then to be on my level while he's eating. So when I saw this, I thought it would be just such a perfect thing to have for Mr. D here. And my dad literally built it for me from scratch for Donovan's birthday. It was such an awesome gift. Aside from the joy of him being right there at the same level with me or with whoever's cooking or eating at the counter, is that he's completely safe up there and he has 100% control of whether or not he has to stay there because he can climb in and out of it. So as you guys know, that's definitely Rye and Montessori approved. And so far we are big fans and super grateful to Papa B. And our next favorite are peaches. This might sound funny to you, but I really wanted to include a recipe or a food that we're really into at the moment. And to be honest, Donovan and I, since living just the two of us, have been really into just incorporating raw foods into our diet. So we eat tons of fruits and veggies throughout our day, and peaches have been our go-to snack. Even though they are completely messy and juicy, they are so sweet and delicious. So that has been our number one favorite for the month of June. Now I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without a favorite fitness tip or exercise of the month and one of my number one goals is to have a more lifted round booty and that's something that I'm actually getting closer to as far as how I've been sculpting my body and one of the ways that I've been doing it is this simple exercise which I'm sure you're familiar with and I'm sure you hate doing in public <laughs> just like me but it's a simple hip thrust just lie down on your back like so and I do this for four minutes. So I do a simple, slow and controlled hip thrust, squeezing my glutes and hamstrings at the top of the bridge. 
I do 30 seconds of a simple hip thrust like this, 30 seconds of holding at the top, 30 seconds again of thrusting, and then another 30 seconds of holding. I've noticed that this has made an extreme difference in my glutes and in my hamstrings as far as how toned and lifted they are. And I've been really, really pleased with the results that I've seen in just a short matter of doing this every night before bed. So I highly recommend this exercise in this particular fashion. Four minutes, guys, it's going to burn. It's going to be a lot more challenging than you anticipate. And like I said, you won't wanna do this like at your local gym in front of people, <laughs> but it's, it's just such a quality exercise and I really recommend doing it. My next favorite is this stainless steel reusable water bottle from Target. I picked up a couple of these because they were on clearance for about $5. Normally I use glass ones, but I've broken several. So this has been a nice alternative for me, but I really strongly advise against plastic for so many reasons, for our own personal health, and of course, for Mother Earth. If you guys wanna learn more about that, go to banthebottle.net and sort of educate yourself on what exactly the water bottle industry is doing to our planet and to our bodies. So this favorite isn't exactly about this particular product, this water bottle. It's more just about how happy I am to have reusable water bottles and reusable straws that I take with me as opposed to using plastic ones. And to wrap up this video, I'm going to share my favorite quote of this month, which is from Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. I just think this is such a nice, beautiful reminder about perspective and attitude. Make sure you're looking for the good stuff in life. Make sure you're listening for the good stuff. And as far as my favorite moment this month, I really, really loved my birthday because my channel actually got monetized on my birthday this year, which is super cool. It was a huge goal of mine to create this platform just to start with, but the fact that I've gotten so much encouragement from all of you and support from all of you that have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked my videos and maybe even shared them is just mind-blowing to me it's awesome and I am so grateful and I, my gratitude is only gonna keep growing as this channel keeps growing and I get to meet more and more of you even if it's online I really consider you guys some of you have become sort of like friends to me and I've never met you but uh, you're just so awesome and so loving and so kind and I truly appreciate it and I love being able to do this. So that's it for my June favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting about three videos a week, maybe more. And yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you.